In this video, I want to show you how to install macOS Catalina on your Windows 10 PC using VMware Player. This is a free version of VMware Workstation. Four easy steps to achieve this. Install VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 10 PC. Download macOS image and convert it to ISO. As I said, I will be using the Catalina image for this video. Note that you need the Mac computer to download the image. I will talk about this later. Then you need to download and install VMware Unlocker on your Windows 10 PC and then create the VM and install the Mac OS on it. So let's start with step one, which is install VMware Workstation Player on Windows 10. So open your web browser, go to VMware.com Hover over Downloads and choose Free Product Downloads. On the right, you have Workstation Player. Click on it. And here I have Windows 10 running, so I'm going to be downloading the Workstation Player for Windows 10. Click on Download Now. And the download will begin. It's a short download, so it should be fast. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the file was downloaded. And here you see the file that is downloaded. Double click on it to install it. So follow the instruction to install it. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. So here I'm going to select Enhanced Keyboard Driver. This option will force us to restart after installation. It's not a big deal. We wanted to check for updates. I don't want to join the VMware customer community. And I want to create two shortcuts. Click on Next. And now it will be installed. Once the installation finishes, just click on Finish. Forget about License because we are going to use the player version, so we don't need the license. Just click on Finish. And now you'll be prompted to restart. So you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Step 2 is to download macOS image and convert it to ISO. You need the Mac computer to do this. This way, you'll have a clean image that allows you to use an Apple ID. You may find ISO images on the web but Apple will limit their use when used multiple times, so it is better to create your own ISO file. Open App Store on any macOS computer, and in the search box, type Catalina, and press Enter. Click on View, and then click on Get. This procedure also applies to other versions of macOS if you want. Now you have to click on Download and the downloading of the Catalina installation package begins. It's a pretty big download, it's about 9 GB. So I'm gonna cut this video and come back when the download finishes. And now the download finished, you receive this message when the download finishes. Just minimize the window and then also close this window and this window too and you need to close the installation program so right click on it and choose quit and then click on finder just to make sure that the installation package was downloaded and under applications in finder you see that install macOS Catalina is downloaded so now click on go and then choose utilities we need to open the terminal to convert the installation package to an ISO file. There are a series of commands that we are going to put. This is the first command. It will create a DMG file of 8.9 GB. So put the command exactly as it is, respecting the spaces and the casing, and then press Enter. You can find all commands and links in the description. So this is the Catalina.dmg file created in the temp directory. The second command is to attach the DMG file to a mount point on the desktop. 
So put it and also press enter. And you see on the right, you have the Catalina mount point now on your desktop. Now we are ready to launch the third command that will create the installation media into the DMG file. So let me clear the terminal first and then put this command. As I said, it will create the installation media using the mount point into the DMG file. Put it exactly as it is. And then press enter. When you press enter, it will ask you for your password. So put the password of the macOS computer that you're working on and the creation will begin. It is a bit lengthy, so I accelerated the video here a little bit. And now it's creating the boot files and the command is finished. You will notice that the mount point name has changed to install macOS Catalina. So let me clear the terminal once again. And now we need to put the command to detach the mount point from the DMG image. So put this command exactly as it is and press enter. And you see it said that the disk was ejected. And now we are going to put a command to convert the DMG file to a CDR file. Remember that you can find all these commands in the description of this video. You notice on the top right corner of your macOS desktop that the Catalina.cdr file is being created. And now it is created. The last command is to rename the CDR file into an ISO file. So let's clear the terminal once again and put the command to move the CDR file to an ISO file which in other words mean rename the file. And as you see, the file now is named Catalina.iso. The next step is to transfer the ISO file to your Windows 10 PC, where you are going to create the macOS VM. So let's insert a USB key. If you have a USB key that is formatted with FAT32, you need to delete it. So make sure you don't need the information that is on it. So after you insert the USB key, click on Go, choose Utilities, and launch Disk Utility. Choose the USB key, and here you need to erase it. Make sure you choose the right one so that you don't lose any data. Click Erase. Under Format, click the list, and choose EXFAT. This way, you can copy a file larger than 2 GB, which is the FAT32 limitation on the USB key. You see it's erasing now, and it's creating the file format of EXFAT. Now all you have to do is to drop the ISO file to the USB key and the copying will begin. Give it time because it's 9 GB. When the copy finishes, right click the USB key and eject it. And let's head now to the Windows 10 PC and copy the ISO file and then we need to download and install VMware Unlocker so that we can create a macOS VM on VMware Player. So open the web browser and go to this website. You can find it in the description. Click on latest and then Click on unlocker.zip to download it. It's a pretty small download. So now click the three dots or go to the downloads folder. And then you need to extract it. Right click on it and choose extract all. And then click on extract. The extraction is fast. The extracted folder will be opened. So right-click win-install.cmd and choose Run as Administrator. Click on More Info and then click on Run Anyway. Choose Yes if prompted. 
and this file will download some files to install them to VMware Player to allow it to run macOS machines. I'm accelerating the video here. And now it is installing and restarting the VMware service, as you see. Step four is to create the VM and install the macOS Catalina into the VM. So now I'm assuming that you copied the ISO file to your Windows 10 PC. So start VMware player. And then click on create a new virtual machine. Choose installer disk image and click on browse and choose your Catalina ISO file and then click on open. Click next. Choose Apple Mac OS X as operating system and under version choose 10.15 for Catalina. Leave everything by default here and then click on next. Maximum disk size, I will put it at 100 gigabyte. Of course, it depends on the free space on your host and then choose single file and then click next and then click on customize hardware. We need to make some adjustments. I'm going to give it more RAM because my host allows it 8 gigabyte. The minimum is 2 gigabyte. And the second adjustment I'm going to make is that I'm going to give it four processors. Two is the minimum. And then these are all the adjustments we need to do. Just click on close. Click on finish. And then before we start the VM, we need to make a final adjustment in the VMX file. So go to documents, go to virtual machines and to the folder of the macOS machine. Right click the VMX file and choose open with and open it with notepad. We need to add the parameter for it. Click OK when you choose notepad and scroll to the bottom of the file and add this parameter smc.version space equals space quote zero quote and then save the file and close notepad. And now we are ready to start the macOS VM and start the installation of macOS Catalina. So just click on play virtual machine. And then as you see, it will start from the ISO file and the installation will begin. So this is a normal macOS installation. Choose the language you want here. I'm choosing English and then click on the arrow to continue the installation. On this screen, to continue the installation, you need to click Disk Utility to prepare the disk first. Click Continue. And then choose the VMware disk. Click Erase. And then here, name it if you want. I'm just going to name it macOS. And then click on Erase. And now the disk is prepared so that we can install macOS on it. Close this one. And then choose Install macOS and then click Continue. Click the arrow to continue. Click Agree to the license agreement and then click Agree once again. And now you see, you see the disk in front of you, select it and then click on Install. And the installation will begin now. The video, of course, is accelerated here so that we don't wait for the installation. It's pretty lengthy. Of course, it depends on the speed of your computer.
So now it's asking us to choose our time zone. Continue the installation here as you see fit for your time zone and your language. I'm not going to put an Apple ID at this moment. You can do it if you want. So I'm going to skip it and I'm going to agree. And here you need to name your computer. I'm just naming it my Mac and putting a password and then click continue. And here I'm choosing Express Setup and also continuing the installation. I'm choosing not to put Siri and for the look I chose it Auto and then I click on Continue and this is it installed. There is still one step that is very important is to install the VMware tools because as you see I cannot resize now the display. This is because we don't have VMware tools. I'm just ejecting the ISO file here. And then click on Player, on VMware Player. Choose Manage and click on Install VMware Tools. And double click on Install VMware Tools. Click Continue. You'll need to give it permission as you'll see. So now put your password. And here click on open security and then click the lock to unlock it put your password and click on allow next to VMware and now the installation will continue I'm gonna show you now after the restart of macOS it will restart by itself after VMware tools and you can resize the display and your experience using macOS on Windows 10 will be much better with VMware tools. So here I'm resizing the display and as you see it will work flawlessly. And here is macOS running within Windows 10 using VMware Player. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.